The other night, I was going out with a girlfriend of mine, hadn't seen her for a while, so I got a cute little dress on, the sun was shining, I was just happy to hang out with somebody that I care about, and as I was walking down the street to meet up with her, a gal crosses my path and comments saying that I looked great and, you know, had a whole rundown of compliments for me, and I thought, you know, all I did was change from a t-shirt and shorts to a simple little knit dress. I didn't even touch up my makeup or my hair or jewelry or anything, but my attitude had changed and immediately somebody noticed. This is what it's about to attract positive energy. I am Jacqueline, and I'm here to support you on your move forward on attracting the energy that you want. So as I am scooting down the street, getting ready to meet my friend, and this wonderful gal stops to compliment me, I also made a point to compliment her in return, but I had a big smile as I walked down the street. I was making eye contact with people, and this is how we attract energy towards us and that other people feel our energy where they just need to say something. So I continued on my way, met up with my friend, had a great chat, super happy to hang out with somebody that I care about in a uh, creative business ideas, fun conversations. And as I wrapped up the conversation and sent her on her way to head home, I walked back to my place and I was just happy, super, super happy. And as I'm about to approach my home, I hear somebody calling out, trying to get my attention. I'm thinking, but I'm not sure because I didn't notice them. So I continue more and then they get a little bit louder and I turn around and somebody's like, hey, I was trying to catch your attention. And as they were trying to catch my attention, I walked back towards them to continue the dialogue. And what was interesting is while I was in my happy bubble, just enjoying the energy of two friends hanging out, the sunshine feeling great, somebody caught that wave again, just like when I was walking to my event, just as I had enjoyed the time with my friend, I was fueled up and I came back and this person saw that again. As a new person sees me, that energy just kept flowing. And I think about how many times we forget that we spread this energetic light or a dim energy that stays close around us all the time. There are times when I'm just trying to shut people down and away from me because I don't want to engage and I have that power within me. And there are times when I have that power to spread it wide and catch people even when I'm not even looking out to make eye contact and smile directly. So this gentleman catches my attention, is determined to get a conversation started, very nice. We chat for a little bit. I'm not in the mood to go out and continue the evening I was just going to wrap up in the positivity well he loved my energy so much he continues to message and what I find is so fascinating is again another person who sits there and tells me how they want my energy they want me to be around them but never tells me why I should be around them in return and what I think is so powerful is that I wasn't out looking for anybody to notice me. I was happy living my life. I was happy embracing the energy that my friend brought to my space, the energy that I brought to her space, and the end of a fun night. And that's all that I cared about. And this is how we attract new people into our lives, by taking the time to put ourselves together in a way that we feel good, but also to hold our shoulders back, hold our head up, smile, make eye contact, contact and feel good because that energy will be propelled. It's like this ray of sunshine that you can spread out so that even when you're not looking and you're not making contact directly with somebody specific, but you have with others, that energy multiplies and more people will notice you. The spiritual goodness of the angels are all around us, and we can either tell them to send out the signal that you want to engage with more people, or we can say, hey, keep me close, don't really engage with anyone, tune me in, tighten me up here, put a cloak around me. You have this power to decide, because there are plenty of times I am not in the mood to engage with people, and I just want to do my own thing, my own thoughts, my own feelings, and I will cloak the angels around me and keep keep protected and safe and cocooned in. And then there are other times when I'm like, hey, I just kind of want to see what attracts in a positive way. And I only want people that see my energy to care enough to say something, to also give them 
the energy to acknowledge me. This is a big part of being connected spiritually. And because of my angel gift, I know how to work this and support people on this journey. And this is why I have such incredible dynamic angel clients that I get to work with in love, life, and their dreams coming true because I teach clients how to tune in to the energy vibration that they are projecting out or that they are withholding. Do you ever find that you are in a situation where you're like, ah, I didn't expect all this positive energy coming my way, but I've been in a really good mood and I've been noticing people and I've been slowing down enough to take pause. I've been complimenting people. I have been engaging. Well, it reciprocates. If you are all closed off, you're not going to get attention, whether it's even online or it is out and about. It's how you project your energy, how you share your words, how you show up is how you are received. So I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you are showing up. Are you somebody that feels invisible? Are you somebody who feels engaged in the world and aware of the energy that you are projecting. I am Jacqueline and I am here to support you on your love spiritual journey.